Direct News TV. April 3, 2024. Canadian police make arrests in prominent Sikh activists killing. Police in Canada have made arrests in the fatal 2023 shooting of prominent Sikh Canadian activist Hardeep Singh Nijar, months after authorities accused Indian government agents of being involved in the killing. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police, RCMP, in Canada's westernmost province of British Columbia said on Friday afternoon that three people were arrested as part of an ongoing investigation into Niger's killing. The three individuals all Indian nationals were arrested in Edmonton, Alberta, and charged with first-degree murder and conspiracy to commit murder, RCMP Superintendent Mondip Mukher told reporters. This investigation does not end here. We are aware that others may have played a role in this homicide, and we remain dedicated to finding and arresting each one of these individuals, Mukher said. He added that police are investigating if there are any ties to the government of India. However, as I said, it's an ongoing investigation and I don't have any information to provide on that matter at this time. Niger was fatally shot on June 18, 2023, outside a Sikh temple in Surrey, British Columbia, spurring widespread condemnation. A few months later, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said the country's security agencies were investigating credible allegations of a potential link between Indian government agents and Niger's killing. Any involvement of a foreign government in the killing of a Canadian citizen on Canadian soil is an unacceptable violation of our sovereignty, Trudeau said in an address to Canada's Parliament in September of last year. In the strongest possible terms, I continue to urge the government of India to cooperate with Canada to get to the bottom of this matter. His comments spurred a fierce response from India, which rejected the allegations as absurd and politically motivated. New Delhi also accused Canada of not doing enough to stem anti-India activism and Sikh extremism. But Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government has long faced allegations of targeting political opponents, journalists, and religious minorities including Muslims and Sikhs, in what rights groups have said is a continuing effort to stifle dissent. At the time of Niger's killing, tensions had been growing between Canada and India over a Sikh campaign for a sovereign state in India's Punjab region. Known as the Khalistan Movement, the campaign has supporters in Canada. Niger served as president of the Guru Nanak Sikh Gidwara, the temple where he was killed. He was among those advocating for Khalistan. Active Police Operation Asked to comment on Friday's reports that arrests were made in the case, Canada's Public Safety Minister Dominic LeBlanc referred reporters' questions to the RCMP. You'll understand that the developments with respect to the murder of a Canadian citizen, Mr. Niger, are part of an ongoing police operation. This operation started today. It is still an active police operation, LeBlanc said in Ottawa. The RCMP identified the three men arrested on Friday as Kamal Preet Singh, Karen Preet Singh, and Karen Brar. Mukher, the police superintendent, said all three were non-permanent residents of Canada and had been in the country for between three to five years. CBC News reported earlier in the day that, according to unnamed sources, members of the hit squad are alleged to have played different roles as shooters, drivers, and spotters on the day Niger was killed. Sources said investigators identified the alleged hit squad members in Canada some months ago and have been keeping them under tight surveillance, the Canadian broadcaster said. The High Commission of India in Ottawa did not immediately respond to Al Jazeera's request for comment on Friday afternoon. Reported threats Niger's killing continues to raise questions around allegations of Indian foreign interference, particularly within Sikh diaspora communities in Canada the United States and other countries. In September, Maninder Singh at the BC Gadwaras Council told Al Jazeera that he was among five Sikh leaders including Niger who were warned by the RCMP's National Security Division in 2022 about threats against their lives. Reports of an alleged plot to kill another prominent Sikh separatist leader in the US have also emerged following Niger's death. In late November, the U.S. Department of Justice announced charges against a 52-year-old Indian national, Nikhil Gupta. Gupta was accused of being part of a foiled attempt to assassinate U.S. citizen Gurpeet Singh Panun, 
in coordination with an Indian government employee and others. The Washington Post reported earlier this week that U.S. intelligence agencies determined that the operation to target Panon was approved by the then head of India's foreign intelligence agency, known as RAW. The Indian government rejected those allegations as unwarranted and unsubstantiated, according to media reports. On Monday, White House spokesperson Karine Jean-Pierre described the Washington Post report as a serious matter. The government of India has been very clear with us that they are taking this seriously and will investigate and we expect that accountability from the government, Jean-Pierre told reporters during a news briefing. She added that Washington would continue to raise concerns with New Delhi. My name is Kingsley. Please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be the first to be notified whenever we post you won't regret it.